Hi guys, Serial Simmer here. I am doing a 100 baby challenge build today. Um, I have been doing this 100 baby challenge on my channel. So if you are interested or you like that kind of thing, feel free to check that out. There's a playlist that shouldn't be too hard to find with the all many, many videos I have put up so far. Um, so yeah, we are just gonna convert this micro home, which sort of started out as a rags to riches starter home. Uh, we gained some skills, gained a bit of money, and now that we have some more money, we are gonna go ahead and convert this into a tiny home instead of just a micro home. So we have a little more room for our babies. If you see there in the front yard or the front of our beach lot, we do have one baby already. We have a little girl named Alessi. Um, She's just the cutest and the best. And we are so excited to finally be starting this challenge. I love playing this challenge in Tartosa so far and kind of sticking with this like rustic Italian beach house idea. I don't know. It's such kind of like a random idea, but I really loved this lot and thought it would be so fun to have the kids be able to swim in the water, maybe gain some fitness skill that way. Um, yeah, just a fun, fun place to be. And also it's a bonus that we're so close to town that we can easily find baby daddies that way by just walking into town. Another unforeseen bonus that we have found in that challenge is that people actually paint on that easel in the town square, um, kind of right next to the flower stall. Um, they paint there a lot and interestingly, you can actually sell their paintings, I don't think it's cheating. <laughs> I don't think it's cheating if it's in the game. <laughs> um, no, there's lots of stuff that is in the game that is cheating. However, I am giving myself that. Um, there's this one specific sim named Dominique Soto who has been painting tons of paintings and seems to have gotten really high in the skill. And so her paintings are worth quite a lot, but she's been um, really prolific, making a lot of things for us that we've been selling. She actually got us our first like 500 bucks in the entire 100 baby series. So we owe a lot to her. We love her. She's like one of our founder sims, I guess you could say. Yeah, getting back to our build here, I did use a lot of debug initially when I built this micro home and that I actually don't have a build video on. Um, but yeah, if you go ahead and watch the 100 Baby Challenge, like episode one, you'll be able to really see um, where we started without much difference. And I do kind of give a little bit of a tour in that um, first episode as well. So yeah, just trying to figure out here where's the best place to sort of access the beach. And I think I wanted to stick mostly with a similar layout to what we used to have. Obviously, I wanted to go ahead and... Um, give ourselves like a proper bedroom in the space. Um, I do end up with only one bedroom that is shared by the mom, Stella Paza, and her kids. Right now it's just only the one baby, but we know soon it will be many more. So we definitely wanted the bedroom to be larger um, and to be able to fit um, lots of kids, lots of different ages. This was kind of a bummer when I was doing the build, all of my cabinets, and this happens frequently in The Sims, they glitch out and um, you have to repurchase them. The way that I kind of like to think of it a lot of the time is it's the Sims cost of doing a reno, basically, obviously still really, really cheap in the scheme of things. So it's not like I gave myself that money back. I did just delete the cabinets and, um, buy new ones. So I did lose a little bit of money on that. And then I think I had to do that as well with the countertops. I think they sort of re uh, reset themselves to be only a single countertop rather than having a corner piece like I had originally had in my first um, micro home. So yeah, we're just like uh, re-deciding the floor plan here now that we have um, basically twice, well not basically, exactly twice as many tiles, I guess. Um, and then I needed to go ahead and test to make sure that this bathroom worked. Uh, I was pretty sure that it would, but, um, I just wanted to make sure. And then she goes and rides her bike right out of the house. Um, so yeah, now we are just kind of adding in some of the stuff that we had in our previous house, going through our inventory, our household inventory, um, and deciding what it is we want to keep. If there's anything that we want to sell, I really didn't sell much. Um, even like the light switches, I decided that I would keep, uh, I didn't really want to make a bunch of money off of 
sort of our initial house fund. You know, you can start the 100 baby challenge with uh, the 20,000 that you're allotted for the one sim um, and build a house or um, buy a lot, you know, and then when you get to the lot, the idea, at least the way that we were playing it, um, was that whatever additional money we had left over from building the lot um, and buying furniture, et cetera, um, needed to go away. So after building, we reset our money to zero. Uh, so I didn't want to basically like give us a refund on the stuff that we had previously bought. Um, I didn't want that to count for anything. So I think the only thing that I ended up deleting in the end that actually did give us some money back, um, is those, that like pink cottage living pink stripey, uh, Roman shade type thing, that little shade thing right there. Um, that's the only thing. And I think it was worth about a hundred dollars. So it wasn't a crazy, um, crazy amount of money or anything, but yeah, we did end up getting a little bit of money back from that. Yeah. And then just trying to figure out where we are going to put everything here, <laughs> where the light switches are going to go. And I kind of was just getting frustrated having stuff in my inventory still. Um, so some of that was just dumping things into different places and making sure that I had room for everything that, um, I needed in the build. And then, yeah, I kind of wanted to keep with, like I said, this rustic Italian theme. So I, uh, I wanted to keep the brick walls that were brick on the exterior, brick on the interior as well. And then only like use paint on the walls that would have been added to the interior, if that makes sense. I hope that that's making sense. Um, so yeah, I go ahead and do that a little bit later and I do use the same from the wedding pack, um, the My Wedding Stories pack. I use the like sun faded paint color on the interior walls. Yeah, and just kind of rejigging a few things out here. It doesn't get um, too much of a rejig. Hopefully now we can actually um, try for our baby in the shower because we couldn't before. I don't know why. I had it set up pretty much exactly the same size that it is now. So I don't know. Could definitely still be an issue. Maybe we'll just have to use the poohoo bush for the next uh, foreseeable future until we can actually afford a double bed and get our own bedroom. But yeah, getting our little outdoor space set back up. It looks pretty much exactly the way that it did before. We just have this little bump out now on the side of our house. And yeah, our exterior trash can, don't worry, it is there. It is just next to all of those crates that are from cats and dogs. Um, kind of on the right hand side of the screen, it's tucked back in there. So you may not be able to see it very well, but I promise there is an exterior bin and there is an interior bin in the kitchen next to the fridge. So yeah, again, just kind of trying to figure out, I did initially want to have my own separate bedroom for um, a matriarch, but it didn't end up working out that way. I ended up liking just sort of the open space of the one bigger bedroom and deciding to have like more of a separate sleeping area for the family and then a living area slash office area for Stella. And then, yeah, because it is such a, like an older home, I did kind of section off the kitchen there and put a door between that and the rest of the house. Here's that wallpaper that I was telling you about earlier. And then, like I said, because I wanted all of the interior walls to have um, sort of these different textures on them, these different wall types, I ended up putting a beam in between that. Ex yeah, right there. <laughs> if you notice that I put, I think it's a werewolf's beam. I like how like rustic and crooked it is. Uh, so yeah, that just kind of separates that exterior wall that is brick from that interior wall that sort of lines right up with it. And we were able to get a slightly, and when I say slightly, I mean very slightly larger kitchen. We got one more corner island, which is awesome. I'm really excited for that. Um, and then, yeah, I decided I wanted a sink um, window above my sink. Excuse me. Yeah. So we go ahead and do that and just move some of these, uh, I don't even know, buoys, <laughs> these water floaty things. <laughs> they were from Debug, by the way, if you're wondering where I got those. Yeah. 
And here I started figuring out that I wanted mom to be in the same room as the kids. It'll make it a lot easier for caring for the kids at night as well. I do like that part of this, um, the 100 baby challenge. It's just faster to get to your kids right now when you're all in one room, (laughs) even though, you know, there's less ideal parts of it as well. That is one of the pros to having a smaller house like this. It's quicker to get to everybody. Yeah. And then I did end up using some of those smaller saucer lights. I tried to kind of keep that rustic theme, even with the lights, but I just love the way that they are really bright. So I did use those, but I changed them to more of a golden color. So I thought, you know, maybe that makes it a little bit more dated (laughs) if they're sort of like a goldy saucer, like small saucer light. (laughs) So yeah, we've got our two bassinets in case we have twins at any point. And then we have our infant bed here, our crib can be converted into a toddler bed. And then at one point you'll see, I do check to make sure that I can kind of rejig where, where that is to make sure I can put at least a couple infant beds and, or a toddler and infant bed, just because this challenge can go quick with, um, needing to expand that way and have enough beds for everybody. So yeah, if you guys are watching this video, I'd love to know if you played the 100 baby challenge as well. And if you do, do start with a micro home or do you go straight for a residential sized home? Maybe you start with tiny home. Yeah. Do you guys try to utilize those buffs or not? Basically is what I'm wondering. Um, I cannot help myself. Those buffs that are in the game are just way too tempting basically. (laughs) So this is kind of the initial... Uh, layout that we had for our living room. And I don't know, I just, it wasn't feeling it. Basically, (laughs) that's what it comes down to is I really just wasn't feeling it. And then I did like where that pin board was, but I just thought that's realistically really high for a pin board. Like you're taking things on and putting it off um, quite a bit. And it just didn't really make sense to me to have it up so high. So I do end up putting it down lower here in a little bit, I guess. And then, yeah, just kind of playing with the swatches on different things, kind of starting to finally get to a place here where I was feeling like, yep, I'm liking this. And the living room was sort of the last piece of that puzzle, Um, but we are getting that sorted right now. So, yeah, I also just love the detail of that little fan. I think that's from uh the detective career it's definitely like a unlock entitlement cheat accessed only piece i think you get it uh through gameplay in the police career the detective career but yeah when i was initially building this build i just thought that that was so perfect i don't know if you guys have ever had the privilege of traveling to italy like i have it was such a great time that's definitely part of the reason i went last year in 2022. And, um, that's definitely part of the reason that I built this. I just have been missing it, have been missing Europe. Um, America's great in different ways, but I just love Europe. I think it's just so like romantic and just such a special place in Italy, especially just, man, it'll kick your butt, but also it's just, just so special. So yeah, romantic is kind of the only word I think that I can really put to it. But anyways, I think that's probably part of why I thought of doing the 100 baby challenge here. Obviously it's a very romantic um, game challenge. There we go with another one of those beams, popping that in there to make the transition from a brick exterior wall to interior tile wall a little bit uh, less abrupt. Um, and then, yeah, just kind of trying to give some privacy to the bathroom, but, um, also realizing, you know, it's Sims and they don't need like a huge amount of privacy. Probably I wouldn't have just my shower right there with a pull down curtain, but maybe, I guess, I don't know. (laughs) In real life, I probably wouldn't. Maybe some people would not. I probably, um, now we're just going to go ahead and get a TV. I think you saw earlier, I went and splurged out for like one of those $2,000 TVs. And I was like, this is a waste of money for us that $2,000 will do a lot more for us than, um, spending that on a TV right now. We just don't have that kind of cashola. So yeah, getting some 
more just little bits and bobs here. It's so fun to actually like be able to afford money. And the way my sim is making money right now in the hundred baby challenge, just in case you're wondering is, um, through painting, which I know is such a classic, but it does just work so dang well. And, um, I actually did a trial run kind of of the hundred baby challenge after we got infants before like starting this official, official in quotes, um, YouTube video series. Um, I wanted to just test it out and I had such a hard time. You guys, I talked about this in the first, um, episode, but I got to a point where I didn't have enough money to really take care of the kids anymore. And it was like, just absolutely falling apart. Like next level chaos. My kids were going to get taken away. I just knew it was about to happen. So, yeah, I quit that. And then I decided that I was going to actually just go for the challenge. So I hadn't played any more, any more of the challenge outside of, uh, this playthrough on YouTube, but I did sort of do that little trial run and decide that I wanted to spend a few days of my matriarch's, uh, life getting some skills. The handiness skill was really important to me, um, so that I could upgrade her bed and yeah, <laughs> getting the painting skill was also very important. I feel like it's just such a fast way. Initially, um, in my first trial, I tried to do writing, um, and it just takes a long time to get royalties that are really, uh, big and help you out enough. I love these hanging plants. That's also something that I got when I initially built the micro home. So I'm keeping it again for this one. And this is what I was talking about with making sure that I could fit in two cribs and or a crib and a toddler bed there just so that we have a little bit of growing room in this place. And I think that's pretty much it, guys. The last couple of things I put in here is this chest, this toy chest and um, this little stuffed animal blarfy guy. So, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the tour. Okay, guys, so this is our new house that we took time to build. It is 64 out of 64 tiles because we still get the bonuses for um, skill gain, which is really what I was concerned about. So I was happy to see that we still get to keep that even if we go up to 64 tiles. So we went ahead and did that. We also added a little window in here. This is our new kitchen area. We still have our florist bench out back. We have our awesome little garden, and I even have a couple more planters to that. Um, pretty much everything is the same other than that we have extended this part of our build significantly. So yeah, we can go ahead and go inside and Ollie will try to show you around a little bit. So yeah, first off we have our floor plan here. We've got the living room back here with some kids toys, a TV now, which is exciting. We have mom's little workstation over here. Some photography that Stella has taken is dotted around. We have a change table with the diaper pail. We've got our infant, Alyssi, she just aged up. So we now have an infant crib. We have two spots just in case we have twins and mom's bed. And this is sort of a shared bedroom for right now at least. And we did get to extend our kitchen pretty well. And we now have this high chair for the infants to try food in. So that's exciting. We also have another counter spot. And like I said, a little window area to look out of. So it's not a huge increase, but it is significantly, oh dear, we're doing this. That's so real. <laughs> but anyways, we are doing, um, doing better, doing pretty good and as you can see we still um, are making pretty good money right now just focusing on painting so yeah that is our build um our new 100 baby small home I guess tiny home not a micro home anymore 64 tile home I hope that you guys enjoyed this video um thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys